Hey everybody, welcome to Amputee TV. My name is Alex Schwartz, as you probably know because I'm already your favorite double amputee. If you haven't noticed, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, as you can tell by my last video where I had to get my man bun cut off for a movie, which really sucked. So here I am with my short hair, and I have actually a bunch of legs with me on this trip, a whole bag full. I figured it'd be a good time to go over traveling with prosthetics. Almost every time I travel, people ask me, you know, like, how is it going through TSA? Do you gotta take off your legs and all that kind of stuff? I'm gonna teach y'all that right now. All right, so as I promised, of course, I'm gonna go over how in the world do you get through TSA with giant metal weapons around your legs? Well, here's the thing. When I go through TSA, it's typically not too bad because, well, for one, I'm used to it, and wait, did I say one? Anyways, one, I'm used to it, two, I mean, they're pretty respectable, you know, it's not like they throw you around, but so I have to go through the thing where you put your hands up, as usual, and then after that, I, every single time, have to get an extra pat down, an extra, you know, they swab my hands, they swab my legs, they swab, um, they gotta like feel around like my thighs and stuff to make sure I'm not packing anything. So, I mean, especially like, if you're in a hurry, it can kind of suck, but overall it's not too bad. But I went through TSA with a bunch of legs actually this time. Wait, where's my other one? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so I have a whole bag full and um, I actually fit all my other stuff in here too that I was traveling with but right now this is all jumbled up in here as you can see I mean I've got well there's the sticker bomb leg here's a leg that I got signed by Steve-O here's a foot <laughs> here's uh, the running blade blades what happened with that like traveling with that is I don't know if it was because of what you know came up on the screen or if it was totally random but my bag did get searched and they pretty much messed up everything because I had all my shirts rolled and I had it layered so that whenever they would throw around my luggage it wouldn't damage my legs but when they put everything back in there it was kind of just like all over the place but one time though traveling through TSA was an issue and this was a pretty specific issue because I'm gonna take a seat I'm gonna take a seat so I was traveling through TSA right or well, I was traveling and I had to go through TSA and we did the routine hands up thing and then they did the swabbing but the thing was is the guy came back and he was like um sir you tested positive for explosives and i was like what <laughs> like I, t I have explosives on me i freaked out a little bit but then i quickly realized that oh yeah two days ago was when i filmed the video where i was launching fireworks out of my legs which is a really cool fourth of july video if you want to go check it out um, I literally took off my foot and I used my leg as like a mortar to be launching fireworks out of while I was still wearing it. And that means that there was gunpowder all over my legs. So, uh, yeah, not the best look for uh, TSA, you know, not the best look for security at an airport to have gunpowder all over your legs. But so after I explained that to him, I showed him the video and he started cracking up and he said he wanted to watch more. So, yeah, I ended up giving him my YouTube name, which by the way, if you want to spread the word, you can just tell people to either search my name or they can just search AmputV, A-M-P-U-T-V, and they can find all my stuff. But yeah, so that was a good laugh, thankfully, you know, it didn't end with like a night in jail or something, or not being able to travel. But, so yeah, after I showed him the video, he was cool with it, and they, they understood. It's probably the weirdest thing he's ever encountered, and it was like the weirdest thing I ever encountered. I was like, um, you know, not expecting to not be able to go through TSA because I had accidentally left on residue from launching fireworks out of my legs. But yeah, that's what happens apparently when you have a YouTube channel and you're a double amputee. So yeah, overall, it's not really too bad traveling with prosthetics. And if you're an amputee, you don't really have to worry. I've never actually, even when I had the gunpowder, I don't even think they made me take off my legs. I've never had to take off my legs. And I don't have to take off my shorts or, you know, any weird stuff like that. They just give you an extra pat down and swab you in a couple different spots. And yeah, so it kind of takes some extra time. But like I said, it's not the worst thing that could ever happen. When you're traveling with prosthetics and a suitcase, that suitcase is then free to um, bag or whatever. Because when you're, when you're using medical equipment and that's um, in your bag, that is marked as like, they can't charge you for that. So that is a good thing to keep in mind. If you got a lot of bags or a lot of legs or a wheelchair or something they need to carry along, you can just carry it along for free. And if you can fit your other stuff in there too, like, like what I did where you pack some legs and clothes, still free, which is nice. Um, so I always just throw a leg in there just to get free bag, no joking. 
I don't actually do that, but that's a good idea. <laughs> Should probably do that. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed my story of how I tested positive for explosives because I was using my leg as a mortar before, before I went and traveled for fireworks. Um, yeah, that was pretty scary when that happened. Uh, and then now you also know the answer to is it hard to travel with prosthetic legs and how does that work at TSA. Like I said, I just go through the thing like normal, put my hands up and everything, but then they just have to do an extra pat down and then the swab test and all that kind of stuff. So it does slow you down a little bit. But overall, it's not too bad, and overall, it's not as bad as testing positive for explosives. But, yeah. So, please stay tuned and check out my other videos. You can watch that uh, Mortar, the Leg 4th of July firework video. I don't know what you want to call it. It is on my channel. It's one of my earlier videos. And also, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram because those are where I mostly post. And come back for more, please. Subscribe if you want to see more. And like it if you liked it. Tell a dog, tell a friend, stay inspired.